thought it would be fun to do a challenge, uh, open it up to other YouTube creators to find out what it's like to be in a wheelchair. Okay, so we have met our first victim of the wheelchair challenge, the disability awareness challenge. This is Danny. She's from about 20 minutes from where we live. Danny, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we're going to try going outside first, just wheel around a little bit, and then we're going to go inside the mall and uh, deal with the crowds. Do you have anything you need to buy today? Absolutely not. Okay, so we're kind of, we can go to any store. Then. We can. We'll try to find some that are like, most of them are like clothing is pretty much filling the place and yeah. you can't get around so that'll be that'll show some good uh, maneuvering skills so what's the best way to do this well I might be see. tough with the arm right there yeah that might be tough we'll, we'll push this out a little bit basically what i do is i put my feet like right there on the floor and then you can kind of just pivot so put the one hand on here and yes <laughs> that's pretty good So you don't notice there's a hill there until you're rolling on it. And even the wind sometimes can, can blow you, blow you around. All right, so now, door. You want to try this? Hey, she even held it open for me. So Danny has a little bit of a, an edge here. She is a close friend that uses a wheelchair. So she kind of knows from watching a little bit how it works. Okay, so here, you know, stores are, you try to utilize their space as much as they can, so obviously they put stuff up high. So if you wanted to get that jacket down, you'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. I'd have a reacher that um, I sometimes carry with me. I don't, we, didn't, we don't have it right now. We'll have it at the grocery store. But you really don't realize how tall they are. Yeah. All right, let's keep going through up to the mall. I'm trying to find a shop with tight aisles. Oh, there was only like a quarter inch on each side. <laughs> you didn't scrape at all. So we're going to leave it up to you to find the elevator. That's always a big test. Found it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes in the big department stores, we'll go around for like 10 minutes trying to find the one inside the department stores. The one out here usually is like in the middle where there's a big thing. <laughs> and yeah, post office too. It's like this high counter. <laughs> you have to reach pretty far though. Those I don't think I can reach. Once the card store gets uh, maybe a B. Okay, so the mall was pretty accessible and now Danny's gotta try and get in her truck from the wheelchair. So do you have any idea how to begin? No. <laughs> Alright, so first thing you want to do is put um, sit up towards the front of the cushion first, like scoot up. So then Okay, grab something and then tall. What I do is put one hand either on the steering wheel or on the seat way over there. So whichever. And just pull. And kind of you like lean front, pull yourself front. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look at that. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> I usually do. I usually beep the horn when I'm putting the chair across. Set. So you put one wheel in either in the back or in the passenger seat. Without trying to pull out. <laughs> That's a difficult part. Put it across the front into the passenger. Yeah, if you do that like a couple thousand times, it gets a lot easier. And now I buried my keys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're off to the park. Okay, now getting out, kind of pretty much the reverse of getting in. <laughs> now you got you to push this in. When I, had, I used to have a truck that sat really high, um, and, and to get in and out, I couldn't 
I couldn't put one, like on a low car, you can put one hand on the chair and one hand in there and get in and out. But with the truck, you have to have your hand pretty, pretty high up. And uh, a lot of times you're parked on a bit of an incline. You'd like go to get out in your chair and be like, okay, see you later. So I had a little, I had always had a bungee cord sitting right here that I hook it up. Too bad, huh? Adventures. We could go and try the sand over there, Dad. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna do sand. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna make her go all the way into the grass and into the sand. Yeah, and grass is fine unless it's like really rutted and bumpy. Or if it's on a hill, then it's really hard. Or muddy. Whoa! <laughs> he makes this look so easy. <laughs> That's what we all thought too when we first tried. I was like, what? This is supposed to be easy. <laughs> you guys should race. I would definitely race. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you a head start. Yeah? Okay, Dad, go on. Yeah, go. <laughs> He's closing the gap. <laughs> well, yeah, this is packed down. When yeah, you get to sand at like the beach, it's impossible. All right, so what do you think about the park, accessibility-wise? It's hard. It's hard. So have you noticed what? the difference between the mall and the park? <laughs> the mall and the nice smooth floors and concrete. Gravel that goes down however yeah, far it was. Compared to two inch thick gravel, grass. With mud. With mud. The sand's pretty easy. Yeah, this is nice and packed down. Packed down. Not too bad. We have to go back to the grass to get oh, back to your car. Grass. Yeah, the grass turned out to be the hardest one because if it if it has ruts and holes and stuff, these front even these bigger wheels that we have, um, they still get stuck pretty easy. And if you're not used to it and you can't balance really well on the wheelies, it's uh, it's difficult. <laughs> you just gotta go slow. You're losing again. <laughs> you're so close. <laughs> So the park was fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> Danny almost fell out of the chair once or twice in the grass. It's probably more like four. <laughs> it's kind of rutted, but she survived and she didn't. She didn't cheat. Even when it got like uphill and really tough, she kept pushing and, and didn't get out and, and use her legs. So she's she's doing really really well. Next challenge is going to be grocery store shopping. Woohoo! So luckily there's a grocery store like 500 feet away from where we parked at the park, so we don't have to drive. We're just gonna roll up along the road and go to the grocery shop. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Besides the cart, <laughs> what was the most challenging part of the grocery store? Grabbing things was, it was awkward. Like, trying to grab it and then bring it down without it falling. Yeah, yeah, you, you did pretty good with the reacher though, I gotta tell you. Cause you didn't drop, you picked up a couple of things and you didn't drop well, either of them. We should have had to try to catch a water bottle with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> but this cart was like a super challenge, I think for anybody even not in the wheelchair, cause the thing is like massive. It looks like it's like eight inch wider, eight inches wider than the normal carts. Usually, so, like one, a cart's like for one child. Yeah, I know. And this is a you double. Two, you can fit twins in there. You can fit you guys when you were little. Yeah, parking lots are kind of dangerous sometimes because if you're wheeling along like the back of the cars, and someone is con just comes backing out and they can't see you in the wheelchair, so you have to be really careful. We made it back in about a tenth of the time as it took to get up there because of the hill. <laughs> okay, so out of the three different places we went, which was the easiest and which was the most difficult? 
The mall was the easiest. And I think the grocery store is actually the most difficult. <laughs> because you were pushing the Titanic. Yeah. Trying to turn it <laughs> inside the Although aisle. the park was pretty hard too with the grass and the loose gravel. Okay, so we wanted to do some sort of fun challenge as part of this as well. And so we decided to do the one with the uh, water bottle toss that we did for our Reacher challenge. So Danny's going to try that one out and see if she can grab it. Okay. I think, how many of us got it? Like, I got it. There was like Alex two, didn't. I think Jared. two or three of us yeah. managed to actually catch it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, are you kidding me? Oh, no, no, no. She she got second try. Oh, say, don't. <laughs> wow. I, was proud, I, was, I was so proud of myself for getting on like the fifth try. She just yeah. got second. Well, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to say like, well, you probably practiced that before, but <laughs> That's you know, something you practiced. Who practices yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again without the wrapper. Yeah, th that was um, cheating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the rules state yeah. clearly. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Okay. See, she caught it anyway. No, that was my throwing <laughs> skill. That was yeah. my throwing skill. Yeah, that's the one debate we had. <laughs> that we had was... a debate like it was the person throwing it that was good, not the yeah. person catching it. Yeah, like if you threw it, she would have caught it. Yeah. You know, no, you need to try it though. It's it's my throwing skills okay. totally. Right. We'll see. Okay, it's always the second try she gets it on. <laughs> see, it was totally my throwing skills. Throwing. One more try. It's my throwing skills. Oh, that was a bad throw. Wait, I'll try that again. Yeah, let's see if we'll it's Test this out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Catch it, please. No, get the poop out of the cell. Catch it. See? There Got it. Is. That was totally me. That was rock solid <laughs> evidence right there. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. McKenna's a good thrower. She is. I'm, I'm terrible at throwing that thing. I need to practice throwing the water bottle, apparently, because. Probably it's uncatchable when I throw. It's probably like harder in a wheelchair. Cause, oh yeah. Um, it's harder to throw yeah. a water bottle in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're on our way home from the disability awareness challenge with Danny, and it went pretty well. She did outstanding. Yeah, she did like really good. Yeah. So she did great at all three places we went. Um, they all were pretty challenging in, in some aspects. Mall, not so much, but the other yeah. two were. Um, we started off easy. Yeah, we started off the easy one and built up from there. And then the hardest one was catching the water bottle. Well, it was supposed to be hard to catch the water bottle with yeah. Misha. She caught on the second try. It's still my throwing skills. Yeah, it's just mechanical. <laughs> so good at throwing water bottles. Yeah. But let us know which part of the challenge you think you would have the most difficulty doing uh, either the park or the grocery store or the mall yeah. and again if you want to do the challenge with us and you're near just, if you're yeah. gonna be near Pennsylvania just tell us yeah we'd love to do Please. a challenge with you so email us message us comment, comment us comment comment us <laughs> <laughs> that, a, that is a word it's not like a, a verb a, like that, that <laughs> I is homeschooled yeah she is homeschooled me is homeschooled he learned, he he, he, I learned her. He learned, he learned me. I learned her how to speak English. <laughs> We're almost home. All right, Thanks bye. Thanks for watching.